Don't just say Snapchat. Well, hi, my name is Brad. <laughs> Everybody. Welcome back to Things I Hate! So today we're gonna to be talking about Snapchat. Now if you don't know, Things I Hate started with Snapchat. So the very first episode was about Snapchat. And yeah, today I'm gonna to make a part two. Now here's the thing, after that episode I used Snapchat for half a year, but recently I deleted it and as you can see, there are lots of reasons why. By the way, some of these reasons are suggested by friends and other people. So let's go! Alright, so you get these people who just post nothing. So what they do is they cover the camera, swipe left, and it shows the time. It also shows some other options, but like, usually it's the time. And usually this is like uh, in school days. Oh my god, she was awake at 11pm on a school day? Oh! Wow! Yeah. It happens. Next, people will cover the camera and they write one caption. For example, gone, not in the mood, no replies, slow replies. Please stop, I see it like every day at least 10 times. Someone talk. Is it just me on Snapchat that sees this? Someone pop up. <laughs> I hold it down like a Snapchat. Go over your head like a snapback. Hold on. Hey, this doesn't look too bad. <laughs> okay, now, not to be rude, but I always see these girls taking mirror photos and covering their faces with their phone. Oh my god, I got a new phone! Or you get those girls who take a photo of half of their face. Seriously, what's the point of that? If I made videos with half of my face, would you still watch it? Would you? And then you also get girls who always put filters on every photo and say I'm pretty. Of course you're pretty, there's a filter on! But guess what? Take the filter off, you're still pretty. <laughs> Ah, there we go. People who just post the same things over and over. And by this, I mean the memories. Now, don't get me wrong, the memories feature is very, very cool and useful. But like every week, I always see those same old 10 snaps over and over. It becomes repetitive and it's boring. Next! Oh no, this hurts my head even reading it. Oh, here we go. Streaks. Now here's my problem with streaks. I didn't get it up first. And basically what you do is you send a snap to your friend uh, at least once every 24 hours. Now me, I sent it once every 24 hours. Other people just send it like 10 times. And what they send is what's on their story. Like every time I check my phone, I, I see their snap and then I go into their story, it's the same thing. I'm sorry, but that annoys me. But what annoys me even more is that they cover the camera sometimes and they just draw an S. Sometimes they're bored or tired or in a hurry, who knows, and they just send nothing that that's it like what's the point but yeah if they do send it they usually put a caption and the captions are streaks streaks some didn't send and the next one is usually at the end of the day streaks slash slash today was the bestest day ever thanks to that one person they know who they are and then they put a thousand heart emojis this is annoying please stop <laughs> <clears throat> but Brian you used to do streaks yeah I did but not like these people streaks once every 24 hours not 10 times, don't cover the camera, write an S, because people find it very annoying. Thank you. Oof, it's getting hot in there. Next! Wait, hold on, who wrote this? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Girls who just do filters and random faces. And usually when this happens, there's usually music in the background. So like that song we used in the beginning, All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead! Yeah, that. Yeah, this girl had that song playing in the background. Then she put a filter on her face and did random faces. I don't know, to me it's not very interesting. But if you think about it, there's a reason why they're doing this. They're doing this because they want that one guy to swipe up and say they're pretty. Yeah. Next reason. Using emojis for your feelings. Okay, let me just say, emojis are very cool, but like if something terrible happened, I still wouldn't put a thousand crying faces. Next is people who just rant about anything. So what they do is they write a really long paragraph, and trust me, it's very long to read. Sometimes it doesn't even fit in one snap, so they have to do two. But the thing is, they put the snap on for just two seconds. So, like, how am I gonna- Ryan, you can hold down the snap! Okay, I know that now, thanks. <laughs> Like, these people just rant about things they hate. Oh, but Brian, you do that all the time. Uh, and not stop. Oh, people rant about everyone, no. Hi, I'm Brian, because the things I hate. Oh my god, I hate everyone, not in the mood. <laughs> And next, people who just post videos of themselves with very loud music and then expect people to hear them when they're talking. Let me show you what they do. Did you hear what I said? Uh, well, at first I didn't say anything. Second, you probably wouldn't have. The thing is, if the music was in a speaker, 
uh, it will be fine. But they play right out of their phone and then speak. No one's gonna hear you, okay? All these things I'm saying are true. They, they really happen a lot on Snapchat. Oh no. <laughs> no. People who freak out every time there is a new song that comes out. <clears throat> Here we go again. <gasps> oh my god, Stephanie, there's a new Shawn Mendes song out. This cat hates me. Oh, the next one is very famous. Screenshots of screenshots of screenshots of screenshots. Now the screenshot will have a caption on it and so will the next one and the next one. And when I go to see that snap, I can't see the original picture. Genius. Next, this happens all the time. Add up my snaps, like and comment on my recent, show love on IG. I would actually do this if I put a new video out, but Cool. Next, don't you just hate it when random people add you? The problem with this thing is, is that they have a random name. For example, they have Strawberry Princess. How am I meant to know who you are if you're Strawberry Princess? But Brian, it can mean she has red hair! No, it doesn't. <laughs> Seriously, put an easy name so people know who you are. Before we go to the next one, FaceTime? Anyone? Uh, no? Okay, um... The map feature. Stalkers, Stalkers everywhere. everywhere! Yeah, but Brian, you can turn it off, you know? Yeah, I know that. Oh. Then why are you saying it? Uh, I don't know, to make the video longer? Oh, cool. Now, when I had Snapchat, I had to uninstall so many apps because it takes up a lot of storage. Why do you need so much storage? It's for the filters. Oh, all right then. Anyways, those were all the reasons that I hate Snapchat. I hope you like them. Now let's talk about the good things. Bitmoji. I think that Bitmoji is a very cool feature because like, it's, it's your avatar. You can customize it, you can do whatever you want, and yeah. And also you can like join with your friend. It's very cool. What I really like about when you do a snap uh, on a selfie camera is that for example, you can zoom in a lot and yeah, that's very cool. When I had Snapchat, I always did that to my friends and it was so funny. <laughs> but now I don't have Snapchat anymore, I, I kind of got bored of it and I always saw the same things over and over and yeah. But it was very fun using it. What I really liked about Snapchat was people who were funny on it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I am Brian, this was Things I Hate on Snapchat Part 2. If you haven't seen the first one, the link is in the description. What should I talk about next? Tell me in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed, add up my snaps, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> wow, this is more reasons than 30 reasons why. Hey, uh, excuse me, producers, why are you taking so long to make this series, huh? Hmm? Well, well I made a... Uh, so many reasons about Snapchat, you're still there, huh? Well done, yeah? Hmm? I'm watching you, with my eyes. Watch. Yeah, Hannah Baker comes back alive. Oh! <laughs>